Hey guys, what's up? It's the Full Fear One Only, and welcome to Forger. So the devs sent me this game like a while back, before my PC like you know crapped out on me. But now I can play the game and try it out. So thank you to the devs for sending me the keys. Their name will be at the bottom right. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so we got extras, we got roadmaps. I don't even know what those are, but we're gonna just start the game. Classic, single, mountain challenge, and speed run. I'm just gonna go classic. I have no idea where I'm doing. Oh, I'm building? Am I building a society? Oh, I am. I'm building like a little town. I can buy islands and expand. And even buy gear. Okay. Stones. Oh, even stuff grow too. Because we didn't see that there. Ooh, berries. Okay. Sweet. You also have a leveling system too. Wait, did our land just expand too? I, I'm not sure if it did. I don't think it did. Maybe I was just imagining things. Probably need trees too. Even have wood. To be honest, overall, graphic wise, it reminds me of, a sh of another game I've played. I don't know why this character also reminds me of, um, what was it, Castle? Cubic Castle? Or something like that? I don't know why it reminds me of that. Okay, so we're supposed to pick this, this, furnace. That's a large furnace, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you prepared to our body, so are we just gonna shove ourselves in there? Sure, why not? <laughs> oh no, don't, don't hit it. We almost killed our furnace. Well, I almost killed my furnace. Seems like a typ typical wolf thing. Killing your furnace on the first day. Okay, so it's time. So we'll just go back to doing this. Until then. Oh, cool. Okay, so I can craft multiple. There we go. And now, what else do you need? So we need four ingots. That's one. Wait, did I just get more than just... My energy is low. I need to eat, I guess. Oh, it's a good thing I've been eating. I'm not sure how I feel about having to push. Oh, just save. So it auto saves. I'm not sure how I feel about being being forced to push escape instead of like I for inventory. I think that bothers me. Is there a way to change that? I don't think there is, unfortunately. I know game. Does this work in the rain? That's weird that that works in the rain. <laughs> oh, apparently there's something back here. So I guess the stone makes brick, right? Yeah. Oh, go. Level two. Thank you. 
So I just need three more bricks. I don't have any coal. Now that I think about it. You're hungry? I got you, buddy. Apparently I have skill points up there. Gears, skills. Unlock steel, glass. Gain XP when building structures. Forging. Unlock cotton, spawns more oftenly. Allows you to find wheat. And allows beets. Economy. Instantly gain 40 gold. Magic allows you to find fairies. Um. I guess forging would be better, right? That's just from my uh, perspective. This whole island looks very sketch. I'm just saying. Looks very sketch. And remember guys, if you want a series of uh, of a game I play, just let me know. Don't be afraid. The worst thing I can say is I don't like the game or something. So far I like this one. Survival. Survival of the fittest. I'll probably play this one on stream. Seems fun. I need coal. Where's all the coal, man? Oh. We're not gonna talk about it. <sighs> To fairy. Murder it. Oh. Okay. Good man. I don't know why I'm so aggressive. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? Or are you just a lightning bug? Okay. So I'm pretty sure we're done with this. The forge. I'm gonna put the forge right here. So what are we making, game? Are you just gonna leave me off my own things? Make coins, keys, slime pickaxe, a jar. So I guess we keep foraging until we level up. I don't really have any bushes here anymore. And we need the food. Trees haven't really been giving us anything. and stuff. Oh, there's a config. But I don't think you can change, like, yeah, that stuff. Never mind. So stuff just grows now. Interesting. So that's all of our gear. So we got farms. Where we can build a bridge. 
two. So we're going to build a little dock here. Yoink. There's also economy that we can really mess with. Magical stuff. Can't really mess with. There's a sewing stuff, but we can't do that. Nothing with that. Citrus. Nope. Stop. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we need two more wood. Hey, yeah. I think I may have screwed up, too. <laughs> nah, I think about it. Eating all that food. Just to try and stay alive. Because we needed it for the fishing traps. Also seems like it's there's some RNG in this too. Seems like a lot of RNG actually. Because you never know what's gonna pop up or how long it's gonna take. Here you never know if something's in the way of something else. Does nothing. Need to keep leveling, that's for sure. The stronger the pickaxe, the better, too. Just because the less swings. Okay, so buying the island, how much is that? Oh. Uh -huh. Oh. Oh. So what happens if I just keep going and I'm out of energy? Okay. So now we have more skill points. Gathering. Gain more XP from plants and crop. Drop some more wood. I'm curious of what a fairy is. Gain more XP. Sweet. I have no idea what you would do with flowers. So it seems like we leveled up and we got some more energy when we leveled up. This rock is in the way of my area. You're all up in my area, my guy. We're finding a lot more food, though. Only more of those plants would, like, spawn. like I may have screwed up. <laughs> That's for sure. Maybe I should restart? I feel like we should restart. Yeah, we're gonna restart. 
time around to get back to the screen. Save and back to me. Boop. Oh. I'd right click to end that. Because it doesn't seem like we're going to get anything else from that. So we got to start off pretty, pretty fast and pretty early. All right. So now we are back. I finally got those, uh, yeah. Oh, so fairies give XP. Interesting. But yeah, I chose a different skill for this one. But we got like three fish traps over there. So we should be good. You better to build those traps. Like, instead of using your berries. Because I'm pretty sure these things are unlimited and they just find like random stuff. But pretty much like playing the Wrath, if you guys have played that. So yeah, I'm just trying to get my forge done now. Yeah, yeah there it's cold up there. Oh, more berries. How many do I have? I need one more to make a cover trap. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Perfection. Now I need wood. I'll do that in a second. Oh, you caught something? What is it? Sand. I don't know what the hell I'm going to use for Oh, glass. Duh. <laughs> I just thought about it instantly. It was just like, oh, dude, your office is going to need it for glass. Make those. Get some more trees. Build. Another, oh, well, never mind. What is that behind there? I'm not the only one who sees that right there, right? Is that gold? I'm pretty sure that's gold. All the rain, man. Oh, there's another one. Let's see, can I not get it from this angle? Oh, because I'm not hovered over it. Duh. Apparently, if you keep mining without any energy, you take damage. But, after taking damage, you get more energy. Like, half energy. It's weird. Once I upgraded, like, foraging, a lot less of those bushes started to show up. So I'm guessing it's not good to go for that. Like, pretty early on. I can craft a sword. Increased chance of dodging. Make storage. I can even make a cauldron. There we go. More sand. How much do fish give me? 16 energy? I have 10 now. Another fish. How many do I need for another trap? Just need wood now. It, it feels like I am just playing the rap right now, but like a way a more adorable version of it. <laughs> I could have built a bridge and just have these all like on the side of it, you know, be fancy. But you know what? I'm just gonna pick the most efficient way. I thought you automatically click. 
I collect those. Hold on, let me see. Okay, I know. You have to be like somewhat close. Seems like we're gonna need a lot of coal, that's for sure. Seaweed. I know that gives us a little bit of energy. Don't get any more bushes. Ah, oh, found her. Thank you. That oh, caught something. I wonder, can they escape too? I'm gonna sit here and see if they can escape. Which I don't think they can. Wait, is that a bush behind there? Oh yeah, it is. Dude, freaking easy right now. Now that I actually found a more efficient way of doing it. <laughs> this is basically just adding on to my food too. We'll need to build a storage without a doubt. But we're gonna make some of these gold ingots. Get some gold for our next island. Seems like with all this gear and stuff, the monsters start to show up. At least my guess. I think by the time I get to the hunger, I should level up. Yep. Okay, I'm good. Hmm. Should we go for storage or combat? I think storage would be smarter, right? Because we do have quite a lot of things. We're gonna be making in ingots too. So I'm guessing making the vault would not be a bad idea. Or I can go in straight into glass. Sure, just costs less wood. Sewing. since I played a game like this, you know, one of those like survival games. But so far instead of hunger you're doing like energy. Kinda wondering how much gold we get if we go there into the ingots. So I'm guessing probably like ten or so. If it's five then it's gonna be a while. Citrus. Yeah, this is pretty much uh, Forgers. The gameplay is basically survival, crafting, you know, build your own town, you know, expanding. Pretty sure there's dungeons and stuff like that if you have gear and stuff. Actually, I'm, if I remember correctly, there is like dungeons and stuff. You know, like monsters, magic and stuff like that. So yeah, it's pretty not, it's not really all that bad to be honest. I would just have to get like way more, you know, further into the game before I gave my actual, like, final opinion on it. But you know, this is a first impression, so. First impression wise. First impression wise, it's pretty decent. 
That just seems like something I can have like hours of fun in. And probably should not just sit here talking and dying. <laughs> what if there's like a furnace? Oh, well, I wonder if you can use like other stuff on the furnace. Wow, you need a lot of charcoal. So it's basically just throwing wood in there. Except for you just have to make it into coal. That's pretty much all it is. Play this on my 24 hour stream. Yeah, for those of you guys who don't know, I don't know why I'm saying it in this video because I doubt a lot of you are going to watch this video. But I am having a 24 hour stream once I get my gaming PC done and I pick like a good schedule for it. I'll let you guys know. It's going to be fun. I got a, quite a lot of games ready. Oh, if you hover your mouse over it, it comes to you. Ah. Oh. So if I don't hover over it and go near it, I don't get it. But if I... Okay. Easy. Okay, we understand now. Pretty straightforward. Ah, caught something else. You don't get XP for catching stuff, too. Oh, did... What did you catch down there? You can catch of these hands. Is there something over there? Oh, I saw that. I'm guessing that's gold. All right, I wanted to get to level five before we did that. I say, hold on, did we get a single ingot for this? For a single coin? Okay, I was about to say, no way we just get single coins. That would suck. So they're all just eight. Okay, that's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. We're just going to go for a combat. We're going to unlock a shrine. Your attacks have a 50% chance of freezing. A lot of spirit crystals. So lighthouses. So it just basically brightens your island. Okay. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Something tells me I'm going to need a lot of wood. No, but what tells you that? You clearly don't need a lot of wood. You don't fucking tell me. I should expand the island. Well, I would. If I could. Does it look like I could expand the island to you, my guy? It doesn't, does it? Well, if I could, I've probably already done it. Oh. You know, we're not going to talk about that. I totally wasn't looking at my gold. <laughs> Let's go ahead and mine our island. No, let's buy one this way. No, that, not that way? Okay, let's go ahead and buy one. Uh, oh, well. They all have different costs. That's weird. Oh, and these get refunded. Oh, that's cool. So you don't lose your stuff. It actually gets refunded. Nice. Am I too close? I think I'm too close. Yeah, I'm too close.
No. Okay. Oh, there's a certain way to do this. Um. Da. 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 No. One. Two. Okay, that, that was kind of, like, obvious, because of the, like, shapes. This is one, those are two lines, this is three outs, and this was four. Pretty straightforward. <laughs> I need a key? Are you kidding me, dude? How much would key make? Oh, God. Well, that's what feels bad. Let's see if we can even make one. I'm pretty sure we can. How many do we need? Two golds. Four ingots. We can make four ingots, so let's go ahead and do that. Then we'll end it off once we open this chest. So there's like little puzzles and stuff too. So I wouldn't recommend expanding out too far because things can probably get like a little bit hectic once you get like a monster island and you don't have like combat. So that would actually kind of screw you over. It does look like we can make a bone sword, but we don't have any bones, so that doesn't help us out. Okay, we're gonna make those two. I mean, so far we got ourselves a good rhythm going on. Gather our traps over here. Still grabbing stuff. Got our new island. It was just our start out that really ruined. That really ruined it. But once I discovered the whole fishnet thing, I kind of just thought back to playing um, the raft. Or just raft. Skills. Alright, let's start making a storage. Bank. <laughs> we can make a bank? Okay. That's weird. <laughs> Okay, so what we we need for oh, okay, we would need a lot actually, because we don't have steel yet. Oh no! Damn slimes! I'm guessing those are the monsters we're we're gonna be fighting. So I guess we gotta fight with our axes first. So monsters just spawn. Noted. It's not even island like related. Or it probably could be. Alright, let's make this key and we'll get started. <gasps> oh no, not random lightning. At least it didn't destroy the chest. It's a fucking chest cast on fire and I just start crying. <laughs> that wings oh okay so it's a little bit of a roguelike too I like that this may be my favorite survival roguelike game so far pretty neat pretty neat but yeah guys we're gonna end it off there hope you guys enjoyed Try the game yourself if you actually, you know, find it interesting. Without further ado, until then, peace out.